if I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me will turn to night. Darkness is not dark to thee, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to thee are both alike.
Isaiah. Let me sing for my beloved my love song concerning his vineyard. My beloved had a vineyard on a very fertile hill. He dug it and cleared it of stones and planted it with choice vines. He built a watchtower in the midst of it and hewed out a wine vat in it. He expected it to yield grapes, but it yielded wild grapes. 
and now inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I have not done in it? When I expected it to yield grapes, why did it yield wild grapes? And now I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will remove its hedge and it shall be devoured. I will break down its wall and it shall be trampled down. I will make it a waste. It shall not be pruned or hoed and it shall be overgrown with briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel and the people of Judah are his pleasant planting. He expected justice, but saw bloodshed, righteousness, but heard a cry. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the Gospel of Luke. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John, yet the least of the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people who heard this, including the tax collectors, acknowledged the justice of God because they had been baptized with John's baptism. But by refusing to be baptized by him, the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected God's purpose for themselves. To what then will I compare the people of this generation and what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine and you say, he has a demon. The son of man has come eating and drinking and you say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God.
Thank you for joining us for Evensong this second Sunday of Advent, an opportunity to break away from the busyness of the season and help us prepare for Christmas, not by shopping and decorating and planning meals, but by preparing ourselves spiritually. This week's collect prays that we heed God's messengers, the prophets, preaching repentance so that may, we may greet with joy the coming of our Savior, a transition from judgment to salvation. 
Tonight's scripture readings focus more on the judgment part. Isaiah lamenting that God's vineyard in which the people are his pleasant planting did not yield the grapes he expected, but wild grapes to be trampled upon. In Luke, Jesus compares the people of his generation to a bunch of complaining children, a characterization that may be apt for many of us much of the time and worth reflecting upon. But the Advent message is one of hope. As the hymn we just sang reminds us, what begins as a note of judgment, will turn from sin, becomes notes of gladness as, God's pardon, as God pardons us and receives us his wayward children and gives us new life, victory in our strife. Sound the trumpet, Christ has come. With all our heart and with all our mind, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, for the loving kindness of God, and for the salvations of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishop and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our president, for the leaders of nations, and for all in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the towns and cities in which we live, for every place and community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather and for abundance of the fruits of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the good earth which God has given us and for the wisdom and will to conserve it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel on land, on water, or in the air, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the aged and infirm, for the widowed and the orphans, and for the sick and the suffering, we pray especially for those on the parish prayer list, Rachel Bates, Rachel Canavesio, Brian Hoshaw, Arnold Matthews, Bella, Connor, Ella, Trudy, Bilu, Eddie Asaf, Michael Kuljak, John McInnes, Jordan, Jackson, Don Warwick and Michael Forlick, Molly Beresford, Ida Patterson, Bill Gantz, Bob Truxell. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute, for prisoners and captives, and for all who remember and care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For what and whom are you thankful for and praying for at home? Please unmute and and offer your prayers. Praying for Luke, who's in the hospital and struggling. Linda and Bob. And for Isabel. Now, baby Cecilia. Let us pray to the Lord.
for all those who have died in the hope of the resurrection and for all the departed, especially Barry King, Tom Mayer, Gerard Tews, Michael Beltzman. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may end our lives in faith and hope, without suffering and without reproach. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In the communion of all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord our God. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.
thank you all for attending uh, Evensong this evening. Stay safe and stay well. Have a good night. Bye-bye for now. Good night.